a lot more people now if you notice every, every screen you open every whatsapp message you see somebody yeah. saying don't eat this don't right, eat that yeah. it's becoming more popular people are becoming more aware of what they eat yeah. and why it's important so it's becoming the, the future is just so bright because it's it's kind of a virgin area Hi guys, welcome back to the Studentship YouTube channel. Today I'm here live at the University of Nigeria. I'll be going around asking students, you know, information about their course of study. I can show you that you are going to find this video helpful. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Uh, what's your name, department? Adik Bala, Nutrition and Dietetics. Okay, what level? I just finished. Wow, congrats. Thank you. So, what is uh, Nutrition and Dietetics as a course? Nutrition and Dietetics is about health. It's basically, I, I'd rather say it's, it's a health course. Okay. Although in this school, it's under Faculty of Agri, but in other schools, it's under College of Health College because of. it's about nutrition. And I think that nutrition is the first mm. thing when it comes to health because the first, the first medicine rather that anyone takes is yeah, their food. Their food. Yeah. In fact, the father of medicine and the father of nutrition, yeah, incidentally, um, Hippocrates says, let your food be your medicine and your medicine your food. So I think this is really the most fundamental part of being responsible for your own health. Your health. When you are concerned about what you put in your mouth because yes. you know the impact on your health and on your life in general. Yeah, so yeah. that's what it's all about. Nutrition is about you know, um, feeding healthy enough to stay healthy. Dietetics has to do with using food as your therapy, yeah. you know, when you're not well, you're as not against well. medicine yeah. and other things. It could be a preventive and also... Yes, it could also be curative yeah. and sometimes to manage diseases, for example. Some diseases cannot be cured, you know, not yet. So nutrition can also be used to manage them. Wow, that is awesome. So why did you decide to study nutrition and dietetics? Mm, interesting, actually. <laughs> um, I didn't start out wanting to study nutrition and dietetics. Okay. I thought, you know, this when you're growing up you have only five things in your head mm -hmm. engineer banker blah 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 so i thought i was going to be a doctor actually okay, yeah, yeah. um but then um god i believe god orchestrated it such a way that i had some hard times you know and then i remembered something when i was in secondary school in my ss2 my food and nutrition teacher talked about something called dietetics so it dawned on me that there's something about food being able to cure or being able to be um, a therapy to your okay. ill health so i realized that i actually have more things for you know, using food. Actually, alternative medicine is the yes. idea that got me yeah. to study nutrition. So I realized that food can actually, you know, take the place of a lot of medicines that we, yeah. yeah. You know, there's this misconception about, it's just all about, you know, cooking and... Yeah, yeah, you get that a lot. In fact, people think that what we do here is catering and all of that. Yeah. But, you know, it got to a point where you had to start telling people, look, we don't even cook here like that. We understand the science of food and how it works in the body. We understand the metabolism of food. We understand the... Um, pathology of certain diseases and how the body responds to certain foods you take. We understand how nutrients react to your your your, style, your lifestyle. We understand how it reacts to even some of the drugs you take. Because sometimes um, taking medicine and um, and without paying attention to the things you're consuming can actually you know um, be counterproductive in a way. Yes. But when you take the kind of nutrition that is compatible with the medicine you're taking mm -hmm. for some diseases that require you to take medications, yes. you are helping yourself you know a lot more. Yes. When you you know you eat according to your your person, yeah. according to your disease condition, mm. and your it it kind of complements the eff, the effect of yes. the medicines yes. you're yes. taking. I, I think with drugs you have side effects, but with foods, oh, yes, with most drugs you have side effects because they were extracted and so mm. the chemicals used to extract them, remaining them, and then you pile up a lot of synthetic stuff yeah, in your body. Yeah. But with food it's easier because your body has been naturally designed to mm. deal with food, which is also natural. Yes. you know depending on what kind of food you yeah, eat. Yeah. So it's easier. They they it kind of complements each other it's or do i say yeah i think i think so so it's easier that way to deal with for example um there are certain diseases that you take certain medicines for and then you realize that you have to pay certain prices of your comfort because of the medicine you took yes. but if you are just eating the correct thing sure. and helps your body to rest to you know um, complements the food you've taken. Yes. You just realize that you're well and without going through <laughs> all the... the best option. That's so, how, how, how lucrative is uh, nutrition and dietetics in Nigeria? Hmm. I know that's the first thing that comes to every you know, aspirant yeah. or every prospective student's mind. What can I make out of this? The truth is that it's not yet in Nigeria as lucrative as it is in other climes okay. of the world. But it is getting there and it's fast getting there because a lot more people now, if you notice, every, every screen you open, every WhatsApp message you see, somebody yeah. saying don't eat this, don't right, eat that. Yeah. It's becoming 
becoming more popular. People are becoming more aware of what they eat yeah. and why it's important. So it's becoming the, the future is just so bright because it's it's kind of a virgin area okay. for in some places in Nigeria. Okay. In some places, it's more popular. Go to the cities; it's more popular there. Yeah, People yeah. are already you know harnessing the benefits. Awareness, of, yeah. It's there. Awareness yes. is there. But in some other places, it's not there. And it's a good thing because um, why is it good thing? Because people are hungry for knowledge. They want to know what the right mm, thing yeah, is. Yeah. And if you're if you're in the best position to give them the right information, you're the best person that they're going to be because okay. they you're giving them value and they're ready to part away with their money okay. for that. Okay, like what is actually the experience studying this course from first year to 400 level? You go for posting. Is there yeah. any particular experience? Yeah, it's it's really it's it's hands on. Um, I, I can say that the department can do a lot better, but for what we had, it's hands on. You get to take theoretical lectures, okay. practicals, presentations, and then you go for IT in your third year because okay. it's a four year course as of today. You go for IT in your third year. You do your IT in a hospital where you get clinical experience, experience. and then you do some of your IT in um, a food um, company or a hotel or something where you get the um, public, um, so uh, do I say, um, large scale food preparation okay. experience as well. Yes. So you get to see things for what they really are. and. They the IT experience is a great one because it's one thing to learn in class. It's another to go out there for IT CD. and see how even the practicals you do in the lab, mm. how they differ or they relate very closely to the things you see in really the mainstream nice society. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, what advice do you have for students that want to study nutrition and dietetics? Hmm. I'll say that um, it's a good place to be, honestly speaking. And I'm not saying this because I just finished, you know, from here. I just graduated and okay. my I'm, I'm so bright for ideas right now. It's a good place to be because a good place to be is where you can add value, where people actually need value. Mm. People actually are confused about what to eat. They've been eating wrongly all their life. So it's a good place to be because, number one, you are adding tangible value, value that you can see. When I tell you what to do mm. and you do it, you will see, I will see that I'm making impact Difference. in your life. So it's a good place to be where you're adding value. And when you're adding value, people will always give their money in exchange for good value. So it's a good cost to study. Mm -hmm. It's an alternative to, um, I, I don't like to say it's an alternative to medicine because sometimes it's not an alternative, it's, it's a complementary um, thing. But then it's an alternative to, to medicine or to the perception that people have about health and medicine. So it's a good place to be for the value that you can add and the future is bright because um, things are turning towards this, this way. People are beginning to be more curious, wanting to know things more. And before you know it, this is where everybody will be paying attention to. Everybody will now see the significance of seeing their nutritionist or their dietitian for their ailments. and. Um, um, the future only gets better. Besides that, for yourself and for your family, yeah. you have to take care of your family and yourself and you see the impact first on your life. And when you share your own experience, it becomes very relatable and people yes, can relate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, try your stay in this school. Was there any memorable experience? Like <laughs> several, 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 several. Um, I was a student politician when I was here, okay. so I can relate my course of study to policy making okay. because I understand that in the economy of Nigeria today and in many others in the world. Um, Unfortunately, mm. the guys who make the policies don't even know what, what, is, what it, what it, is, what it yeah, takes. Yeah. But if someone, for example, who is into um, foods and nutrition and you understand how food impacts people's lives, yes. I think that um, it's going to help you to compassionately, empathically make the right decisions or yeah. right policies for people. Policies. So one of the things, one of the most memorable experiences of um, my being in this school is because it's that I was able to, you know, um, help make policies that make students' life better. And I can imagine what it would be like if you are in the mainstream society where you can Actually you know, make, make policies, policies that can make lives better, better for it. So that's one of my most memorable experiences here. Wow, that is nice. So Thank combining uh, politics, uh, because this is a very demanding course, right? Mm. So combining politics and your academics, it wasn't, <laughs> was wasn't easy. It wasn't easy, but thank God, God really helped me. And um, thanks to cooperating guys and friends, like-minded people, okay. it makes things really easy because we were, it was easier to manage because we all shared responsibilities and we were all like-minded. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you very much. I think that will be all. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thanks.